Hey all some universe, hey all some people, how are you doing? Hope you've all had a great review on the world. And this is the review of Monday Night Raw this week. Basically, I bet, well guys, I'm going to do a lot of videos tonight because I've been slacking, I'm sorry. Don't worry, next week and for the rest of the future I'm going to be on it. Sorry, really busy this week and I apologize for all the subscribers and everyone watching this. But anyway, here we go, I've got a lot of videos for you coming tonight. Well, Monday Night Raw, basically, pretty much... John Cena was a total douchebag as usual, you know, no talent whatsoever, he's uh, he's garbage as an in-room worker, he's garbage on the mic, he's garbage at whatever he does. You know, it was really stupid his promo, he came out and he said pretty much that, you know, last week that, you know, he was taking the mick out of uh, uh, Bray Wyatt, that he was a homeless junkie and everything, that lives under a bridge or some crap like that. You know, which wasn't even funny because no one even found it funny, apart from uh, maybe some kids or something. But um, you know, basically with Cena, it um, basically this week he comes out and he says that he's afraid of Bray Wyatt. What the fuck? You know this, and do you know what? my first reaction when I heard that I was like, really? This is seriously the guy who's the main guy and who's been the main guy for 12 years. Are you fucking kidding me? This company's fucking nuts. And Bray Wyatt hit some fucking awesome promo. Finally, you know, saying how basically, you know, he, you know, he's pretty much against everything John Cena stands, stands for and everything, pretty much mocking him and everything. It was fucking awesome. Bray Wyatt's the fucking man. Fucking beast in the ring too. It's a shame he's gonna get buried and, he's, you know, Cena's gonna kick out the sister Abigail. Don't be surprised if you hear one, two, oh, Cena kicks out of two again, as usual. Because this guy, you know, if a nuclear bomb hit him, he would, you know, kick out. So anyway, let's get to the rest of the show. You know, uh, you know, there wasn't really much that happened apart from, you know, the Daniel Bryan Triple H thing. You know, da you know, obviously Triple H had that that boring exchange with Randy Orton and Batista. That was boring. Daniel Bryan had a, uh, you know, kind of, you know, and, uh, basically, you know. A no, a no DQ match against uh, Daniel Bryan. That was pretty funny when Randy Orton said to the crowd, he said to the crowd, he's like, he's like, ring the bell? It's a DQ match, you idiot. Oh my God, I love his psychology. It's so hilarious. Uh, and then Batista came out in the middle of the match and pretty much, you know, kind of like cost Randy Orton the match. That was, you know, Daniel Bryan won. So, you know, they were kind of teasing the triple threat thing there. And, you know, Triple H, you know, and then at the end of the show, Triple H and Daniel Bryan talked, you know, about it and everything. And they put him in handcuffs and, you know, they pretty much, you know, Triple H beat on him and everything. So, you know, and apparently if Triple H wins, he will be in the main event. So, wow. They're obviously definitely not going with Triple H winning because that would just be fucking garbage. Um, but not surprised because he's an egomaniac. And, um, yeah, well, there wasn't really anything else in the show, really. Apart from, you know, Paul Heyman's awesome promo on Undertaker. Even though I can't take it seriously. I don't think anyone can, because we all know Undertaker's gonna win. So this was such a stupid thing. But I'm interested to see this match. I think it's gonna be a great match. A match we all remember, so we'll see it. But depending on how much Undertaker can actually do now, as he is in his 50s right now. So we're gonna see, you know, how good the Undertaker can wrestle. Um, you know, uh, and if we get to the, anything else, um, there's not really much else really that happened in the show. The show was pretty boring, you know, uh, Fandango and Goldust, yeah, fuck that. I'm not, in the Divas match, I, I'm not talking about that shit, fuck that, that was pretty boring. Um, yeah, you know, with, uh, Sheamus and Christian and everything, you, you know, well, more people were going in the Battle Royal for the Andre the Giant, uh, Battle Royal Mania. So, pretty much all the mid-carders are all going in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, leave a like and comment for your opinions. Subscribe for more videos. For me, it was a really crap show. Apart from maybe the Paul Heyman promo. Daniel Bryan's uh, moments. Uh, and Bray Wyatt's promo. Oh, and the shield turned face on Kane. So, that was awesome. But, you know, now I don't understand what the fuck they're doing with that. I'm really getting a little confused. I think we all are, but, you know, whatever, you know, and, um, yeah, you know, guys, wrestling fans, subscribe to my channel, you know, ROH fans, ECW, WCW, you know, uh, TNA, you know, any type of wrestling fan, New Japan, subscribe to this channel if you want more wrestling videos, I do reviews, I do everything about wrestling, so... 
guys, subscribe. And uh, my rating is about 3 out of 10 because, you know, there was only about 3 good things. And obviously, you know, for Monday and everything, I will end for WrestleMania coming, I will do the review. Bye guys, love you. Remember, you're awesome. Alright, bye guys.